Phlebitis. Is there a need for a name change? Most doctors and members of the public believe that they understand what is meant by the term phlebitis. However, many vain experts suggest that the term phlebitis should be abandoned as its use leads to confusion and a misplaced emphasis on inflammation. Let me explain. The term phlebitis suggests that the primary event is an inflammatory process in the vein wall which then promotes clot formation in the blood within the vein. This can then propagate and spread up and down the superficial vein under the skin but more worryingly it can spread to the deep veins causing a deep vein thrombosis and in turn this deep vein clot can travel to the lung, a potentially fatal condition called a pulmonary embolism. The criticism here is that the use of the term phlebitis leads to an emphasis on the process of inflammation which can lead to the inappropriate use of antibiotics, a failure to use ultrasound to establish the diagnosis and a failure to prevent or even treat deep vein thrombosis. Specialists now suggest that the term superficial venous thrombosis should replace the term phlebitis. The presence of clot within the vein can lead to propagation and spread to the deep veins, which can lead to pulmonary embolus. The benefit of using the term superficial venous thrombosis rather than phlebitis is that the emphasis now is correctly placed on clot formation, the importance of ultrasound in the diagnosis and the appropriate use of anticoagulation, that is, blood thinning medication.